some free beers that's what the guys over at beer 52 are offering you now simply go to www.beer52.com forward slash mudblood and claim your free case all you have to do is cover the meager postage cost of 5.95 i've tried beer 52 for a while and if you're a fan of craft beers you will absolutely love it each month they send their members a case of unique and different beers from all over the world they have their ever insightful Ferment magazine where you can learn about all the breweries, regions and wonderful world of beer while enjoying a phenomenal selection of fresh and tasty ales. In the last 10 years, these guys have been to 40 different countries over five continents. We're talking the UK, Australia, Germany, North Korea, Portadown. They've been everywhere. They showcase an incredible range of breweries closer to home. Northern Monk, Cloudwater... Belfast Lads Boundary, they've all featured. If dark beer is not your thing, you can have a light only case. There's a lot of delicious snacks you can enjoy with your beer that come in every case. Even after all that and you're still not happy, you're still unsatisfied, you can simply pause your subscription or cancel anytime. So head on over to www.beer52.com forward slash mudblood to claim your free case now. That's beer52.com forward slash mob blood now enjoy this week's episode we're joined by the legendary tom steed he's absolutely fucking amazing we're very very lucky to have him um other than that head on over to the mob blood patreon for the extra episodes you get weekly we're going to be putting up the live podcast very soon you also get early access to tickets and you can also ask the boys questions uh patty's tour dates are on sale and they're flying out my uk dates are very very low numbers but there's a handful of tickets left for glasgow and also london so check those out and enjoy this week's episode thank you very much yeah and you went what church you go to they go i what don't go is happening, well then everybody. how the fuck do you even fucking claim to be anything then That's, fuck this yeah we and just... i thought all religions were hey love thy brother and fucking forgive this cunt and, you know we're nah, starting that fuck fire. that shit <laughs> 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 fuck religion <laughs> fuck that shit <laughs> I'm living where the orange part of the paint on the side of the sidewalk is cause it's not fucking mental it's, it's, it's a lot of people by the way welcome to the Mud Blood Podcast <laughs> I'm Polly McDowell this is William Thompson and this man doesn't need any introduction I think you've all heard about me talking about him on the podcast the legendary yeah. Tom Steed the legendary Tom Steed is in the oh, fucking house man. I'm here man I'm staring right down the camera looking at you now <laughs> It's fucking great to have you on. I was explaining to Tom that w- w- when you came in there, you just interrupted us. <laughs> Tom was asking to sit with the fucking podcast. I explained that, well, he's a prod. I'm a Catholic. We got together. Yeah. We started a podcast. And he was like, yeah, but it's all cool now, Belfast. And we're like, well. Nah. Tom, Tom's like, what do you mean? Is there still fucking about for that shit? You know, and, and we're explaining there's still a big wall. There's still a big wall. Like, out the back of here. Oh, I believe it, man. And you guys are fucking knee game. deep in that shit. <laughs> but we like, all look the same. That's the fucking tough thing about it. Everybody else around the world's kind of just going, nah, fucking... <laughs> No. That's the crazy. Like, if you guys were a row of houses, like they're Canada, America, and then uh, Northern Ireland, you'd be that house that we'd always walk by going, oh, look, they're fighting again. <laughs> Okay, don't look, don't look. Oh God, he's coming out. Oh my God, he's coming out. Let I'm come with up. children. I have children. The wife locks him out every night and he's banging on the door. <laughs> Let me in, they're my fucking kids too. That's us. It's like, it's like a couple on a mad holiday and you're in the hotel room next to them. <laughs> don't look at them. Just hear banging, you don't know if they're oh, fucking fuck. or fighting. The Are they time. fucking or fighting? That's hilarious. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, fuck me. I don't know how people can hold on to that shit so tight, man. It's yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like, I'd expect better from like the younger generation. Like the same way as like when I looked at my old grandparents and that they were religious. Do you know what I mean? Like proper religious. Like fucking had the Lord's Prayer 
printed on a tapestry so so I could learn, oh, our fart in heaven and hallowed be thy name and blah, blah. But when it got down to me, like, there was none of that, man. Yeah. And, and I didn't even bring my... I didn't even bring my kid close to a fucking church. Hey, splash water on this cunt's head and make him angry <laughs> so I have to drive him home. <laughs> fuck that. <laughs> That's the younger generation certainly don't give him much of a fuck as yours would have. Yeah. It's more, like, fun. It's more banter yeah. for us. I mean, because there's still things in society that the Catholics will do, the Protestants don't do. So then, what do Catholics of, do? The Protestants. Oh, I gotta they, hear they this. They do a lot of weird, like fucking weird? voodoo shit. They used awesome. to do like rose. They say rosaries. They like candles. All these weird. I like curses. rosaries if they're being yeah. shoved up my ass. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they're so good. <laughs> Put those magic beans up there. <laughs> you get dressed in a nun costume, and I want you to rip them out, sweetheart. <laughs> We're religious now. <laughs> Light that candle and burn me with it. We're going to church. <laughs> Jesus died so I could do this. <laughs> Jesus died. We do that kind of shit. But they why, got... why, why would I not put anal beads up my ass? Jesus <laughs> made it okay. <laughs> he would If I don't get anal beads up my ass, that cunt died for nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. So that's his side will be that. Oh. <laughs> I'm in the inner main side. Yeah, yeah. And my side is just like, oh, they can't get married. That's my but, side. No, his side, his side they, they play like dance rave music till <laughs> putting the body in the grave. Oh, okay. Oh, we play like, yeah, like trance music at funerals and shit. Do you now? Yeah. Cool. A lot of us do. It's very fun. Very fucking fun. How are you going to die, Willie? How, what's your funeral plans? Oh, my fu- how am I going to die or what's Yeah, the, you're going to have trance music going oh, on. Oh, fuck, or? yeah. Fancy dress. My funeral's going to be fancy dress. I don't give a shit. Really? Everyone show up, dress dress or something. I thought I you'd want, fun. like, YouTube views or something <laughs> like that in your death. <laughs> Just one more viral TikTok before I fuck off. Yeah. I'm going to fire Willie out of the cannon. <laughs> <laughs> to trance music. <laughs> <laughs> There goes Willie. No surrender. No surrender. <laughs> <laughs> You've heard that fire him at the wall. I fire him into the wall. Hey, Willie's on the wall. <laughs> spread your asses. Oh. I see all of the Athenians. Oh, no, like spread your asses. <laughs> Have you ever heard the phrase "no surrender" before you came here? Yes, I I'm well aware that that is like the Irish, the Irish. My what's the brave heart? Bottle one? cry like their freedom. We're yeah. no surrender. <laughs> freedom. At least theirs has a goal. <laughs> yeah. Yours is we're gonna get our ass kicked, but we're not giving up. <laughs> like the Protestants here say no surrender, right? So we see that as like a fucking Protestant thing, right? Okay. So we don't use that, right? They, that's their thing. So when I went to America to live and I was working with this guy and he had no surrender tattooed on his leg and I wouldn't talk to the cunt for about a month. <laughs> <laughs> Even though he was black and from New Orleans. Yes. Yeah. That's why he didn't talk He was actually from... So I'm racist too, I found out. He was from Delaware, like it was, he was so far removed from here. But I was like, that cunt there with a loyalist fucking tattoo on his leg. It turned out he had just been a recovering fucking heroin addict. <laughs> Strike three, <laughs> and I don't like drugs. <laughs> so nothing to do with it. But Tom, Tom got involved in a wee bit of this because yeah. the first time I met Tom was in the stand in Edinburgh. Oh done, yeah, yeah. We done a Sunday night together, and he came up to me and he was like, "You gotta come to my house. We're gonna have a party. We're gonna have a drink." And he says, "But don't come for about forty-five minutes." So. We arrived up, me and Fraser, and he was there with Dan. He had built the bone fair for me. Yeah, man. <laughs> Good old Canadian hospitality. <laughs> and I was like, Tom, that's the wrong side. And he was like, oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was in his house that long. I never even got my clothes for the next night in, in Glasgow. And I was on stage, and somebody says to me, 
This fucking bastard from Belfast smells like a bonfire. Because <laughs> <laughs> we sat out all night drinking out his back. Oh, fuck. It was unbelievable. Yeah, his neighbour yeah. was out. I think it was Bob or something your neighbour was called. Oh, know? yeah, yeah, yeah. His wife's got emphysema, so he had to close <laughs> the window. Because our, our party it would have killed his wife. <laughs> <laughs> He's just shit. Man, fuck you, Bob. This is what comedians do. <laughs> I don't care you to work tomorrow morning. We're on the bone fire for Patty. Yeah, I'll be out there in a sec, Tom. <laughs> She's falling asleep again. <laughs> <laughs> She's a napper now. <laughs> <laughs> but that, that was my first interaction with Tom and fucking goes down and fucking we had a good night that night man great. yeah 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 yeah. I it, love those nights man Dan Sloss fucking wrecked his shoulder on the fucking trampoline oh you were there that one yeah 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 oh when he fucking he said I love these things <laughs> <He's my son. laughs> and he went for a bounce and, and <laughs> I saw that that was hilarious <laughs> he went for the bounce and then he was bragging so he goes for this double flip and then the leg of the trampoline fell out. <laughs> so he bounced and it went flying. Like he seriously could have died. <laughs> and that's my reaction to anyone who does something it's, stupid it's like that. Funny and lovely. Oh, fuck. I, I've seen that. I had a buddy, Vinny Fluke, who said, I'm going to start the fire before you get there. And I'm like, cool, Vinny. Me and Trude, we get in, we look out the window, all we see is this guy on fire <laughs> flying from the window. Because Vinny tried to pour gas on the fire to get it lit, and the cap came off and it just splashed. <laughs> so we're walking in with groceries on these seats. Guy on fire, and it's, he's rolling on the ground. <laughs> I couldn't help him. I was laughing. Too hard. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's the danger of me being there to help you. <laughs> might not happen. So this is this is the first time I've met you. The first time I'd ever yeah. saw you was on Frankie Boyle's Trauma All Nights. Oh Lights. yeah, the infamous. Uh, you yes, that's you. the yeah. first time I got yeah, exposed yeah, to. Yeah, yeah. What what was that like to work on that? <laughs> Tom? Well, it was pretty interesting. <laughs> <laughs> For like the, the one season, it was just cool because everybody, uh, Willie, everybody just wanted to do fucked up scenes. That's all we wanted. You had Jim Muir, Rab, me, and Frankie. And all of us are fucked up people, man. We're not like, we're not playing the game. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like yeah, when you go on BBC, you got to play the game. Welcome to Guessable. And yeah. Then, oh, no. <laughs> Guessable, that's my choice. <laughs> Welcome to Guessable. Like, there's no dangerous people on Guessable. <laughs> Nobody's on Guessable going, it's a fucking cunt motherfucker. <laughs> Fired. <laughs> Just press a button, stop this from happening. And so we just, yeah, we just wanted to do, and then by, just by the end of it, it was it was so funny. And then, and then uh, well, everybody knows Frankie went on and, Fucking slagged off, uh, what's her name's... Uh, Jordan. Yeah, Jordan's uh, kid. And next thing you know, that that's the kibosh on that. <laughs> they will not be doing this anymore. <laughs> the kibosh has happened. <laughs> Go back to your fascist BBC TV. <laughs> so my conspiracy friends think. <laughs> Been back on the BBC, hasn't of course he, he has. On, man. Yeah. Online, not as much the the TV part of it. He's the, too popular. Yeah, yeah. Anything he goes on, they'll fucking watch. Yeah, but it's more they'll put. It's cool. They put that shit online, so they can't. If someone complains like this was on my TV, they're like, no, you have to find this to complain about it. So that's their yeah. way around it. But I love. I could use that for my dick. <laughs> <laughs> Online. I think it's only complaints about it. I just go, listen, you had to go into my treasures and find that. <laughs> <laughs> you're disappointed with it now, like, go fuck yourself. You're, 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 yourself. you're, really, you're really fucking nerd. Like. <laughs> <laughs> you're already there. Here, come, let's do future offenses. <laughs> Don't worry about the past ones. I'm way better at offending now. <laughs> Don't dig into that old shit. He, I, I'm embarrassed I, by that. I've done a gig here in Belfast with Frankie. He came over to do it. I actually asked you to do it, but you're always doing Edinburgh. But uh, there was this gig, like it was for 4,000 people in the Falls Park. And because of that comment, and it was a community festival, it got fucking 
banned, right? Yeah. So they tried to stop the gig. They couldn't stop the gig, and then it oversold. So there was meant to be 4,000 people, and there was 9,000 people in the fucking tent. The I think record. Chris Bose might have told me this story, yeah, yes. Yeah. Was he there? Yeah, yeah, but he was involved in it, yeah. Yeah, so, fucking, that's, to have the same story twice. <laughs> <laughs> in two days? In two days. <laughs> Sorry, right? I'm not I'm saying like, it, though. <laughs> Frankie had a bad day that day. <laughs> <laughs> like all of us, thanks for the money. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, Frankie, out. Frankie loved it. Frankie yeah, got well paid for it, but... Uh, he, I heard he said something really cool off the bat, or at the start of the show or something. I remember what Wait, this was. What, what, they said, what was what, it? What they said, they said, they said um, you just weren't allowed to mention the protests or anything like that. Okay. Right, so... Well, I was there was saying, people protesting because he did the disabled jokes? Yes, and they so were saying because like, it's a community thing, so... What those was, people are the funniest people. <laughs> people protesting against jokes are fucking boring. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody ever wants to party with those guns. <laughs> I hate Gilfe. I hate no, Gilfe. People are... I can't imagine this, Patty. Imagine you going, me calling you up. Listen, Patty. I'm a little pissed off at this guy because he obviously he's a comedian and he's not randomly picking on fucking handicapped people. <laughs> um, he's not like in a mall or anything, just <laughs> pointing them out as he walks into Claire's and he's uh, he's just on stage trying to find funny things and hard topics. I'm going to go down. Can you get a sign and meet me down there? <laughs> I'll be right with you, Patty. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go, dude. Yeah, no, I'll get you. It's fucking nuts. It, it's, they find the people, Never like people that's going, oh, he's a fucking wanker. He's this. They, they, don't buy, they don't buy tickets to your show. They don't come anyway. No, they don't. No. But now They're the more half, into bands. But now the have turned up <laughs> yeah. at your fucking show <laughs> to fucking protest. You know what I mean? But Frank, so that was all happening. That was a weeks long thing. Like that went on like fuck. And then Frankie straight away came out and went, I'm sorry to have divided your normally very united country. Fabulous. Greatly. Yeah, man. <laughs> Anyone who gets offended, they always come up to you and they fucking try to tell you shit. And I'm always like, okay, promise me you'll never come to another show again. <laughs> promise me. <laughs> Because that to say scene an needs to be... Yep. Yeah. Yeah. If I see you here again, sir... <laughs> Fuck yeah. it. I, I, I can fuck never, you in the ass or something, yeah? Tell yeah, them that. I've, I've never really been offended by anything. I've been offended by, like, kid fucking, like, proper, mm. a dude bringing a kid into a basement. I'd protest that. Yeah. I go, I go hey, there's a guy fucking a kid in the basement. Who wants to get some signs? <laughs> get around to his house and tell him to stop doing that. <laughs> That's a like good that's thing offensive, yeah, that's, right? That's, that's good. That's, that's, yeah. that's offensive. You know, so much. me <laughs> making fun of that, not really offensive. Yeah. As more what I, where they always say, pointing out a problem in yeah. a humorous way. Yeah, yeah. and yeah. I, but you know what? It's so, I some way think that they are more offended by you talking about it than him doing it. Yeah, that's weird, right? That's the fucking part of it that you go. Like, what the fuck? What's Maybe the problem? Maybe they're just too chicken shit to say it. Go and fucking get the pedo and kill him? Yeah, fucking. Hi, fuck I'm him. Tom and this is Willie. <laughs> we're gonna and we're pedo, pedo hunters. <laughs> 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 Join us in our merry mix-ups as we accidentally shot an old man we thought was a pedo. We're going to head over to Patreon for our special where we hunt and kill pedophiles. <laughs> Today we're in Craig Alvin. <laughs> and who's going to protest that? You can't kill pedophiles. Oh, there is. Oh, they're, there is. There's, they're an endangered species. <laughs> there's... <laughs> That's become a thing now. I'm like, do this morning, and they had like a pedo hunter on, and had somebody like, now leave them alone. It's like, oh, God. These people, if they would leave the kids alone, fine. These people need sheltered in a nice accommodation where they we can provide them with softer issues, <laughs> softer materials for them to masturbate to yeah. for children. And you're going, what? But that's a the thing they're doing now. They're they're advocating for like funding child sex dolls for yeah, pedophiles. For pedophiles. Oh my God, the methadone of pedophiles. <laughs> <laughs> gonna wean you off with this kid doll that you can fuck. I mean, it's a good idea to, to, to really say it. <laughs> You're like, You're okay, to... that's a, a step in the right direction. How about we get them to just kill themselves? <laughs> Why don't you just go down to the GP to get your prescription? You have to come out with a big fucking plastic doll and one of those wee paper bags. Be like, it's mine. Yeah. Uh, 
Fuck and people man. would walk by and go, he's trying. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Look, he's yeah. trying. He's trying. You know, I'll fuck my kid last week. Now that he's on the dolls, I think we're getting places here. <laughs> fuck my kid last week. <laughs> See, that doesn't even bother me to say that because it's not real. Yeah. Yeah, you know. <laughs> Have you so ever, funny. after a show, because you say some outrageous shit and I love it? Have you ever had someone? All the time. All whatever the time? this is, where, yeah, of course, of course. Whatever, whatever, whatever you were gonna say. Yeah, totally. Man. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I got, I got in the paper here the last time I was here because I did a guinea pig rape joke. I did. I was in the Irish fucking Times or whatever. Right? Yeah, about. Doing rape joke, they asked for a comment, and I went, "No, <laughs> you you sit on that and stew without any answers." <laughs> you know, you like the whole big column, and the bottom yeah. column stand said, "No." Yeah, yeah, no, <laughs> no. <laughs> fuck you. You weren't even at the gig. You were. Yeah, it was a joke about. Um, I fucking bought two guinea pigs for my daughter, and I didn't realize there were two males. I thought I was just buying, here's the joke real fast, just buying a friend, you know, for yeah. the other guinea pig. And so we put them in the cage together, <laughs> and I woke up one morning, and I heard, ee, 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 and I saw the one guinea pig fucking the other guinea pig, and I'm like, we didn't create friends, we created a prison situation here. <laughs> like, we got a rapist on our hands in there. And, and, and in the animal kingdom, it's not a rapist. It's just male dominant. He's just showing the other one who's the, t you know, by that. I don't think the guinea pig thinks it's rape. The guinea pigs, I'll show this guy. It's how they fight. <laughs> right? Imagine then, that's how we started, like, yeah. male dominance in real life as well. Like, the most masculine thing you could do is fuck another man. <laughs> Did you buy that guinea pig a little doll after? So oh, dude, fuck that dude. And the joke went, and the joke went, now I'm even in a tougher position. Do I keep the rapist or do I keep the victim? <laughs> and unfortunately, I kept the victim in bars and let the rapist go. <laughs> because I don't want rapists living in my kitchen. <laughs> You know, and but it was good because society took care of the rapist it, when I let him out in a field. An owl came by, and <laughs> fucked that rapist, up. <laughs> and so a woman took real offense to that and called the paper. And then I was in the thing for a rape joke, and I'm like, nobody. Got a called an analogy. Why did her guinea pig get raped as well? Yeah. Maybe, maybe, <laughs> probably. Old the, ladies, the trauma. Old ladies who love guinea pigs yeah. foundation. <laughs> I'm amazed we haven't gotten trouble yet. <clears throat> we say some madness. We do say some, on this show, like we say some. Well, I done a That's gig what... last night in Cookstown and there was this guy and he obviously was, you know, what? The village sort of Connor Burns. Okay, I get you. Yeah, and he yeah, was yeah. interrupting every act. So I was trying to put him down and he was fucking not shutting the fuck up. Yeah. And then I just went, he, he, he said something about Dirty Harry. I'm going to show you Dirty Harry. And I was like, is Dirty Harry your willy? And everybody was like, oh, hold on. <laughs> he's not right, this kid. And I went, I know he's not right. He still has a dick. I'm dealing with it. <laughs> <laughs> the bar owner was like, oh, he might get a bit of trouble about that. And I was like, listen. If he bought a ticket and he sat in the front row, wouldn't fuck up. He's getting the treatment. Yeah, I'm not gonna give him special treatment because he's special. Oh, was he? Uh, he was on. He, he was special. Oh, okay. Yeah. You okay. know, he gets a yellow bus to school. You know, right on, like, man. And he's got a dirty dick. Yeah, I want to show. Handicap. I want to. I want to show you. I want to show you my dirty Harry. And I went. I know for a fact your dirty Harry is your dick. Like I knew that. I knew that. Actually, actually, it's a good joke. I yeah, guess. it's very good. Yeah. <laughs> I'm actually impressed with that. I says I'm glad like, you didn't call it your Al Pacino. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> Say hello to my little friend. You know, instead it was more here, make my day. You know. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that's awesome. You shouldn't treat anyone any different. Why? If that's the show? what you're asking yeah. for. That's what this society's asking for. They're asking for equality. equality. And then when you and go to give, give it, it to them, you're, they're, no, they're you're like, wrong. no, you're wrong. We're just going back to yeah, some yeah. people are special. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No. But yeah. people always, it's, disability is the one thing people get sensitive. Like, even when I do my act, 
which I only do jokes about my disability with cerebral palsy. You got cerebral palsy? Yeah. You're a CP? Yeah. I'm, a, I'm like a ninja. Do you want to move? Promise. <laughs> if this were the 1950s, they would have killed you already. They they the, on, if in the 50s, they gave me ketamine, so I wish it was the yeah. 50s. Oh, yeah. They used to give us some fucking ketamine, watch us fly about the place. I've got a hot tub time machine. We're rocking. <laughs> Don't worry. We're going to go back to Just the... Just buy me your hotel. Tom's fixing me. <laughs> 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 and he walk out of the bathroom with hollering and go, Do you remember I told yeah. you about the guinea pig? <laughs> <laughs> this is Welcome Colin to Curry. my cage. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see who's dominant in this world. You want to be in the papers, kid? Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> but people take that, like, even now I do jokes about no other disability, just my own. Right. People still don't like it sometimes. Okay. They're like, Well, I have a brother who has that. And I'm like, Well, I wasn't talking about him. Yeah. I'm talking about me, and then I'll meet the brother, and he's like, oh, I love that. Of course then he does. The actual disabled people, never bothered. It's always someone who knows. That'd one. be weird, just two cerebral palsy guys <laughs> arguing over a cerebral palsy <laughs> joke. <laughs> well, I really like that one. Well, I'm telling it. I'm telling it. <laughs> so you're making fun real. of us. Of course. I can't breathe. Well, we, we went through we went through like a six week period on the podcast where my favorite word was spastic. Yeah, cool. Yeah, and it was like it's just a great fucking word. Like I love spastic. And, All comedians love words. Yeah, but that spastic is like I I said to him, do you know? But people, oh, you the ahead. many people were sending me messages going here. You can't, you can't call him a spastic. <laughs> call me <a> now, <laughs> now you've got cerebral palsy. You had thought like a spastic. <laughs> yeah. I didn't know that was his vape medicine. <laughs> yeah. Tom's leaving Northern Ireland with a brand new car. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I noticed here they're all right with spastic. When I say that word in England, even about me, they take it weird. Yeah. The England's very more so fucking... Progressive. England, England's full of spastic. It is, it yeah. is. But they just don't like that word. Yeah. It's a don't, word. Don't it, yeah. It's a word, yeah. man. Yeah. It's a word. Like, like when you, it, it, it really goes back down to saying as long as you're not doing it randomly, mm -hmm. you know, you're yeah. not walking up to some dude and going, hey, fucking, look at this spaz. Like you were in a fucking <laughs> 80s high school movie. <laughs> you were like, you're going. I'm gonna talk about this disease. Yeah. What? What do you? What else do you think I'm gonna talk about? I had a really weird haircut today. Yeah. You know, yeah. it's prevalent, man. Yeah. And, yeah. And why do? Okay. Why do you get? Why? Why do we get rid of all these words? All the I call them the Voldemort words now. Right. So who sits? Who who is it sitting in a room that goes? Oh, can't say that no more. Yeah. Who 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 makes that up? The person that. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Who is who is? I'd I love to meet the who is the guy that sits in the room that goes, yeah, that word's out, that word's out, yeah. that word's out. We can't say that no more. You know who is it? Yeah. Well, we know who the little people are. Yeah. I think they all got together and went, ah, we're not midgets anymore. We're little people. <laughs> Like, I don't think it was a group of fat, tall men. <laughs> we I'm, need to evaluate how we yeah. call these these little people. <laughs> I, I've always loved Morgan Freeman when he said, why don't you just call him by his name? <laughs> <laughs> how, how about that? <laughs> hey, that's a valid point. Well, maybe he couldn't see his name, Bonds, because yeah. he was so small. <laughs> <laughs> I just... I just... <laughs> I asked him where the crayons were. <laughs> it looked bad, but I really needed crayons. <laughs> Holy fuck, man. <laughs> oh, fuck me. That's now. great. Oh, I'm fucking fan. So you're in Mandela Hall tonight. You come here for a bit, don't you? Huh? You come to Northern Ireland for a bit. I've been coming here for a very time. fucking long time, man. Yeah. I've been, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've been coming here for. Oh, 10, 12, 15 years. Long time, man. I've known Donald forever, man. I... Going into that play. I remember, like, when we there was only, like, 50 of us, like, the cool core group. <laughs> right? <laughs> like, Tom Stadiums. Like, <laughs> yeah. Now they brought all their friends. So it's like this. So, but it's great, man. But fucking, yeah, now we're up to whatever it is, you know, yeah. to... 60. We're up to 60 now. <laughs> <laughs> and that's 15 years of hard work right there. <laughs> and do you believe well, it? I don't even have my own podcast. If there's one it's class that growing. needs one. 
Yeah. Huh? Cunt that needs one. It's you, look. Yeah, I don't know, man. It looks like do... a lot of work. <laughs> <laughs> you used to do, you used to do something like this, but didn't you? Man, if I if I were to say, I think uh, I'll say this: if you could ever get a hold of a guy named Russell Roy, uh -huh. okay, in in Canada, I don't know if he's living on a boat. I don't know where the fuck he was, but when the internet first came out. We had a, a fucking show that we did when we were younger and all that yeah. shit. So I want to say, I bet you, I could if I could trace it back, I would have been one of the original podcasters before we got too fucked up and yeah. And well, then I, I just moved and I realized this loser was going no place. <laughs> <laughs> we broke the band up. <laughs> and when did and you now? I'm out in the wasteland. <laughs> when did you move over to the UK? Oh God, I don't know. Two thousand and six or seven or something man yeah 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 it was yeah fucking it was awesome yeah <laughs> it's like get out of the jail that is canada yeah you just went fuck it i'm going to the uk here yeah man i went yeah. here and i went wow the pound sure is a lot more than a canadian dollar yeah <laughs> that's what i thought i was like <laughs> That's a money grubbing whore. So it's just a money issue then. That's all it was. <laughs> well, it helped. <laughs> if the money was shittier, <laughs> do you ever go to that place? <laughs> hey, the money's real shitty over here. I think, buddy, get the kids. We're gonna go and hang out where the shitty money is. <laughs> no, but but it was like, it, it, just when you're in when you're in Canada, and I don't know if that feels like it is here in Ireland. Uh -huh. Okay. When you're in Canada, you feel like that's the only place you can work. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. That's the yeah. only that's place. So you, zone, yeah. you don't know the world around you. Do you yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. So your whole perception is yuck yucks, college gigs, maybe the odd oil corporate shit, right? So that was my whole world. When I came here, man, and saw that, mm -hmm. you, you know, I've been to New York. New York was its own entity. But New York, like when you do a gig, you go from $50 gig to fifty dollar gig but i came here man like come on 20 minutes i'm used to doing like hour so i get my first taste of fucking jonglers mm -hmm. <laughs> oh <this is> so <laughs> good oh my god <laughs> give me more <laughs> <laughs> like fucking and all of a sudden you're doing five gigs in a night for 250 fucking pounds yeah i was like honey you Fucking, you're you're British, right, babe? She said, I sure am, Tom. Well, you fucking sign me up for that fucking shit because we're moving over there. But we don't know anybody. We'll figure it out. <laughs> get your ass, get the kids, get that easy jet going. <laughs> Let's fly over, over here. Yeah, man. And then we just came over here and then uh, live at the Apollo and all the cool TV shows came my way and then they just dried up. Just dried up one day. I thought, oh, this thing's going to sell forever. But this is what you were talking yeah, about. Yeah, yeah. But it doesn't dry up. If that was just your platform. And now I am fucking can do kind of whatever I like to do yeah. with all the fucking fans and buddies that show up. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. So it brought me, when I thought my it was over, because they all think TV, that's where you got to be. Am I talking too much? No, 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 we're, no we're fucking listening. We're loving it. Because I'll tell you why. We talk too most, fucking much. When people fucking come on here, we normally fight like two bitches. We're just sitting fucking listening because yeah. when we tell people about you, like when I say your name and then the messages I get back is like, how the fuck have I not seen this fucking guy? Do you know what I mean? How the fuck We've talked have about I not seen And they're like, fucking hell, we wa we watching the videos about fucking this guy's yeah. great. I can't wait to go and fucking see him. Do you know what I mean? So it's one of them ones where people are like, they know who you are, so to hear that and hear you saying that, it's fucking yeah. good. Like that's you know cool, I mean? man. Well, tonight they're gonna get a fucking healthy dose of strap on humor. <laughs> I felt like I decided I wanted to go to talk about strap ons this year, <laughs> and you know, like. Because a lot of people are taking on all the serious topics. <laughs> I decided to veer left on that one. <laughs> Let's put an educated spin on the old fucking man fucking strap. He should, he should do a gig in uh, Straban. The strap on Tom State does the strap on uh, show. Yeah. Strap on Straban. Yeah. Strap on Straban. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm assuming that's a town in Ireland. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's it's you know what? It has one. Of, it has a wee great fucking comedy room in it. It only holds like what? fifty. Out of fifty. Push. I, I mean, fifty standing. Like oh, this. that's yeah. cool. But it's fucking and it's a mad wee fucking IRA you, town. Like you come off that gig though, feeling like you're the funniest the guy. Like oh, everyone, right every it. it's like old dailies. Yeah, everybody murders. Yeah, oh, okay. like an insane amount. It's fucking yeah. great. Old dailies. Yeah, yeah. Old, <laughs> was, I, was I playing in new dailies? Yeah, new dailies. Is, it's came back a wee bit different. The yeah. audience. I don't know if they all died or something, but nope, they're all there. <laughs> <laughs> Just don't like cocaine guy. He's still there. He's yep. Still... No, nobody but... gets out of that town. <laughs> <laughs> ah, shit, shit. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy man. I'm detached from the tragedy. <laughs> but yeah, you know man, what? it's crazy. It's, it's crazy. It's playing out at the minute, like up there, um, because the people have been arrested for that. Huh? Two of them were fucking. Of Catholic course they and, are. And four of them were Protestant. Oh, every, look, everyone in Omaha does not like them, man. Yeah. I heard all about it, man. <laughs> I heard all about it. I was like, oh. <laughs> Okay, can we lighten this up a little bit? I'm getting out of frame <laughs> for you, when this is all did, Nolan. Did, did, you, did you say something last night about it? Yeah. No, man, no. But I, I did one show where we had a good laugh at all the memorials. Yeah. Yeah, that was an awesome show. You know what I mean? Because I always, I always like, I, I don't know, I've never understood why people m memorialize shitty things that happen, like, to towns, you know? Like, I don't yeah. want to walk by something and go, oh, yeah, that's right, that was so sad. I was having a really good day there until I looked at that memorial. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, by the way, have we mentioned that we'll have yeah, a like, hundred foot Titanic yeah. building in the town. Yeah. Yeah. Why don't you find the guy that's fucked the most pussy in Omar <laughs> and build a statue to him just <laughs> licking something out? <laughs> And then I'll walk by that and go, all right. It's inspirational. Yeah. I better now. <laughs> oh, my we, rocks. We're man. so bad for that we in this country. That. We love that. As he says, like the Titanic Museum, we made a museum about a ship that wasn't meant yeah, of to course. sink. Of course. Fucking yeah. sack. You know, we love the fucking thing. Uh, the troubles. Oh, That's yeah, all man. anyone talks about. Yeah. Like if an American comes here and they come, to, like I remember going to a wrestling show, WWE. And someone was in the ring. It was like, Belfast, famous for the Titanic. And everyone went, yeah. And he went, <laughs> and it sank. The boats. I was like, people died for fuck's sake. Yeah. yeah. Relax. People no, I didn't totally know, yeah, yeah. by the way. <laughs> yeah. If I knew them, I wouldn't be so cavalier <laughs> with the topic. <laughs> And you know all the way Chinese people, they come here and they blame us on Leonardo DiCaprio dying. What? Yeah. What? what? Yeah. I don't even know that one. Yeah, that's in the film, like he dies, but they think it's fucking real life. Like they're Oh, in the, in the Titanic. In the oh, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. So the Chinese people Them like, Chinese that really is so happened. stupid. <laughs> <laughs> It's a movie, <laughs> Ling Hong. A documentary. It's a documentary. <laughs> you killed Leonardo DiCaprio. You killed. <laughs> Holy fuck, dude! <laughs> That'd be amazing. <laughs> Long Yi Ting Tong. We're going to go find out where Leonardo DiCaprio died. <laughs> he died You're so Titanic. fucking. St it's a movie, <laughs> Lee. <laughs> God, why did I marry this woman? <laughs> He probably has the same problems. Because <laughs> men are just stupid, no matter what culture you're from. <laughs> you know, you know who they are. <laughs> oh, fuck. Men are just stupid, doesn't matter. I could go to Nigeria fuck, and just watch somebody be rated in a different language and know exactly what's going on. That cunt forgot the kids at school today. <laughs> I've seen the look in that woman's eyes. Yeah, that man just bought two male guinea pigs. <laughs> yeah, just two male guinea pigs. I still can't get the picture of a guinea pig holding the knives to the other ones. <laughs> so I thought it was just sheer, just hold them, sheer domination. Yeah. Prison so, did you live in Scotland at this time? Uh, yeah, man. Yeah, so yeah. the guinea pig on a Scottish accent. Like, yeah, like, fuck. You're fucking getting it, you cunt. Aye, Paul. <laughs> they like to call everyone pal, but I don't think they mean it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think they mean it. It's all in the way that you say pal. <laughs> and they don't say it very good. Aye, <laughs> pal. <laughs> like, I don't think we're pals. <laughs> Are you really my Uber driver? Aye, <laughs> pal. <laughs> Scoot along, sir. Scoot along. <laughs> and in Liverpool, it's mate. Yeah. They meet. Mate. Mate. Yeah. Mate. Well, lad. Lads. 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 Yeah. 
In London, they just don't look you in the fucking eye. London just don't talk to you. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, that's why I couldn't live in London. I can't do the holding the door open for someone and they just walk right past you. I'm like, do say thank you, you can't. I thought yeah. you were say you couldn't hold the door open. I can't yeah. do the that's why it's, that's, I'm fucking wedging my whole body against the door and these fuckers are just walking around me. It's rude. Yeah. <laughs> but that's when they'd probably hate the disabled. Yeah. Yeah. Look at this fucking guy's in the way of our door. He's got cerebral pulse. He's just shaking a door. Genuine. Fuck off, Willie. Genuine, fuck of genuinely, I was on the train once the overground and there was a guy in a wheelchair and they're the fucking they're meant to wait in the station with ramps to get them off and the fucking the guy there was nobody there there was nobody there and the guy was like fuck so he put his wheelchair in the door so the door wouldn't close to the train smart room. move man <laughs> like, smart move and them cons in London were trying to pull him in because they were like I have to get to work and I was like the cunt needs to get off yeah. like, you know, they were someone like, left him they were going to pop no, nobody would go near him they were like, going to pull him back in and send him up in. to Coventry <laughs> and let him go away where he wasn't meant to be yeah. you know what I mean he says poor cunt he's probably still stuck well you're way home from Kensington yeah. you can't go <laughs> Bring up his TikTok fucking account. I'm pretty sure there's an angry message there. Wheelchair disabled fucking discrimination again. I'm in Coventry. Somebody call me an Uber. Somebody call me. I call. I call. <laughs> I love Liverpool. I love Liverpool. Liverpool. Oh, dude, if we f I, I'm going to plug something here now. Yeah, go, go. Yeah, I fucking, totally. We filmed my last special there. Tom Stade. TomStade.com. I don't have a pension. Live, live in Liverpool. Yeah, you, live can, in Liverpool. you can get to see it on your website. Yeah, yeah. 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 So that, that's the end of that. If they yep. didn't quite catch that, If you haven't done. seen, get on his Patreon. Yeah, you can so fucking fun. It's not a, it's a mug, but it's different. It has Tom stuff on it. Get yeah. a mug. No, no, fuck get the it. mugs. Fuck the mugs. <laughs> don't worry about the mugs, people. <laughs> Get to the show. <laughs> wow, he's a talented mug maker. <laughs> he really knows how to use that program, <laughs> that app. Oh, fuck me. But you're just back, aren't you, from Liverpool? Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. How was it? Fucking yeah. great. Like, the gigs were great. Yeah. Done a podcast, but and fucking That's... ended up being the fucking most hated. Are you all right, you're right yeah. man? I was going to ask you, are you okay? <laughs> yeah. I was going to send you a message. They're like, every hit, fucking haters, mate, they're fine. Yeah, Jesus Christ. I've yeah. never had as many haters in my life. Welcome what to the fucking What did you panic? say, Patty? What was on? What did you do? I'm not, I don't even know what's about to happen here. <laughs> I may be uh, going, hey, Patty, you want eight. So I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't. You're the one sending me the messages. <laughs> I'm a lover, not a fighter, Tom. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I've done a podcast, and I had done this story about fucking, where fucking I was slapping about Roy Keane at a fucking uh, football match. It was his first match for Celtic, and then six weeks later, fucking whatever it was, I met Neil Lennon and fucking Roy came into the back of the car and fucking grabbed me by the neck. And it was grabbed you? A, yeah, so it was meant to be a joke, but he fucking, fucking told me that you're a cunt, right? I said a few bad things about him I shouldn't have said. And he sort of fucking left and he was angry. So I'd done it on a podcast in, in Scotland. You get him and that was, oh, yeah, it was fine, right? And then I'd done it in Liverpool and they clipped it. So now everybody's going, well, that's different. And they're like, yes, yeah, so if you go on Patreon, you'll see the fucking stories the same in the fucking two podcasts. But they're like, nah, fuck you, you're a fucking man, cunt. So now everything's just fucking, I'm a cunt. Yeah. <laughs> Which is great. because You want to be even more, more of a cunt? You should sue him. <laughs> you should sue him. <laughs> like, every, you should go, that fucking cunt put me in a chokehold. I'm traumatized. I have PSTDSD <laughs> because of fucking Roy Keane. I'm sure I'm a and I want, that, I want that cunt to buy me a house. <laughs> You think I'm a cunt now, Roy? <laughs> I'll show you what a cunt is, Roy. <laughs> but it is mad that like I've ended up in the paper twice in Scotland in a year. And one was for getting a bad burger in Edinburgh Airport. Oh. Yeah. And the other one was fucking getting chokehold by Roy King. Yeah. Chokehold. The fact yeah. you ended up in the paper because you had a bad burger out of Burger King was fucking ridiculous, yeah. by the yeah. way. Yeah. yeah. You literally put out a tweet being like, worst burger I ever had. And we're in the How'd paper. How'd you get like, in? Were you like front page? 
I don't know where. Read I'm all about the, the, it. The, the, I the, I'll get some mad murder. <laughs> I'm starting to think there's not much news. <laughs> yeah, there's not much news. That's what I said. Like, what well, hard bad was the news that day that they were like, Wait till we see this episode. Oh, no, we're the fucked. queen died or Patty got a bad burger. <laughs> well, there's only one story we can go with here. The fucking bad burger. Like, that's a fucking disgrace. You know, like, the queen's not big news. It was ridiculous. Yeah. Like, you know we tried I mean? to get a comment from Patty on the bad burger, but he's said, no. in the hospital with fucking food poisoning. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know where I was the past three days? Where were you? I was in the Dom, Amsterdam. Were you? Yeah, Jill, oh, that's yeah. where I was. Oh, I know. Yeah, we were shooting a video, but we had to end up going past the red light district to shoot a video. Yeah. I know why you think all sexy women early. We went there at like 12 in the afternoon, uh. and they put the ugliest cons out in the brightest light. Like, yeah. You think you're going to see a sexy prostitute? One of them was built like fucking drug. People pay for that, William. I know. Oh, I believe so. There is people pay for that. But That's like, why they're in the window. But this girl is like, I would pay fuck her. Yeah. The, what? You know, but the, <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> no the way. Further, the further, you know, hookers. you know, the further, the further the streets you go back in the Who red light to district, get a sign the farther they get. This. Yeah. You know so, that. You can see the price going whatever. down. Yes, and the quality the of the yeah. product. Yeah. By the end, you're like, I wouldn't fuck her, but if I needed to move house, I, I'd, I'd hire that bitch. Like, <laughs> I'd be like, sofa. She's like, you want to be on sofa? I'm like, no, get that upstairs. <laughs> Lift That's fucking heavy, and you have the show. For it. Yeah, there's some that look like they fucking lived in the Congo and trees. Yeah, like, but then you get to that main street at like 12 at night, and I'm like, they, she can have the house. Yeah. So, I mean, they give you, if you're walking past, they give you those eyes, and you feel that sexy. Because yeah. they're going like. Tell the truth, did you go into anything? Nah, nah, I didn't. I genuinely didn't, didn't have the balls. Did you want to? or Honestly, I like, don't believe him, Patty. Yeah, yeah. I don't. I, he what, was what all is over that shit. Say yeah. Yes. yeah. I know, what do you admit it? Like, yeah. What do you admit it? Like, you know, there was three of us, and two of us, like, we're like, not doing it. And then when we walked past, we were like, I might, I might do this. Right. But one of us was gay. Right. And he was getting really annoyed. Were we, you the one of us? No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> it's all three of my personalities. Well, he comes out on the program today. A gay cere- cerebral palsy. Well, he says, Wait till the next comedy contest to get <laughs> it. it. You're going to win. Do a show by wanking off with my wee ham. That'll hell. But fucking... He was getting sick as we were like, well, we'll do another lap, we'll see, we'll see. And by the end, it was for him, it must have been like taking your girlfriend shoe shopping. Right. Because he's like, can we go? You've seen them all. And we're like, we saw something in the second window. I'm going to go back that, see if she's still there. There's a gay part too. You can go yeah. there. So I, I would. I've, we're gonna, we end up I've like, never I've, been there. <laughs> <laughs> so I've heard. Have I, have I ever told you the story of when we went over? No. No? So we went over in 2017 and... Uh, no, the way you fucking when you go out for a, a fucking lad's holiday, you sort of like try and plan a load of shit that they want to get done, and um, we ended up in this cafe, and we're going. We had nothing left to do, and we're just fucking smoking, sitting in there, and saying, "What's what's next? What we're going to do?" And I could see my mate going, "I might just go back to flat." We're going. What do you mean? Fucking de booked us in this place it was like across the water you need to get a fucking ferry to get back to our apartment um we were like you'll ruin the whole night you know you'll not be back here until like 11 o'clock and uh we're like what do you need to go back to the apartment for and he was like i don't know just need to get something we were like what do you need to get and we were like no it is he wants to get fucking money so he can get a hooker he didn't have enough money for the hooker yeah. did he do it and he was going no don't know do and we were like it fucking is isn't it and he's like yeah and we were like, <laughs> did we're you just like, give him the money we were like right you can, you can pay us back right we'll lend you the money but we get the fucking pick who it is oh fuck I um, love the fact you wanted it back <laughs> <laughs> always always walking up to him where's that hooker money you <laughs> yeah 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 <laughs> Like a really bad What's fucking power military dad. <laughs> 60 quid on strap on. And, <laughs> and uh, so we, we went out and we let him sort of, we went easy on him and we're like, nah, fuck it, we're only messing you can pick. So he went ahead of us and he was like, like you said, like a fucking fussy cunt, you know, going around the streets. And we must have done three laps of the red, red red light district and he didn't pick anywhere. And then he was like, I haven't tried the wee alleyways yet. And I was like, I don't think you want to. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. there's a reason why there's reality ways. Yeah. And, there's um, some gold in those alleys. And there's some wait, gold some gold. in those. It, it started off really funny. Gold those, up in those alleys. <laughs> it started off really funny because like we were like, you no know, egging them on and like slagging them about picking people. But by the end of it, we lost fucking interest because he made it so shit. How long he was taking, yeah. and we. Uh, we just let him walk on for a bit, and we were talking amongst ourselves. And then my mate went, "Oh fuck, fuck." 
he's went in and we just heard him going lads that's the one for me and um and we were going yeah and we were laughing and shit and then my mate went hold on and <laughs> I, I was like what, what's wrong and he's like does it mean something different if it's a blue light? <laughs> <laughs> and, um, and I was like, I don't know. And my army went, yeah. He didn't go into a blue light, did he? And we were like, yeah. He went in the up one over there. And then the next minute, you see the fucking door fucking slamming open. And we come sprinting out past us. <laughs> Then this fucking like linebacker comes out of the fucking of the thing wearing like women's lingerie, uh, <laughs> and, and we were like, "Oh fuck!" And we went up to him. We were like, "Mate, are you all right?" No, like, but well, we're laughing, but we're like, "I just sucked the linebacker's <laughs> cock." Did you, did you, do I look go, all right? Did you just go up to the linebacker? Or did you go up to your mate? No, I went, <laughs> Like, yeah, sorry. Luke will not say a thing to anybody. It's all good. Like, and um, and he was like, "No, I'll fucking tell people." That's a fucking hilarious story. Uh, but um, we were like, "What made you like pick?" And he was like, "Going, I was waiting on somebody to like notice me and like to say come in." Dude, how like, ugly are you that the prostitutes in the red light turn around aren't, yeah. aren't giving you the <laughs> eyes? Exactly. <Yeah. laughs> Like he was saying he was being that fussy, he was walking about for an hour. Like if if the prostitute had a fucking no no no, he says he went in and uh, and just was like uh, the person grabbed him straight away and was like oh here and like grabbed his hand and fucking put it on his cock. I was like you like this and he just went fuck yeah no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah well, and that's all he told us. That he <laughs> <laughs> but then the there did. was just two wee gerbils and one of the eggs. Because I know your friend was like she has a massive clip. This one. This <laughs> <laughs> biggest camel to I've ever fucking have. Seen. OJ Simpson jerk you off. <laughs> fuck, of course I would want that to happen. <laughs> That's a story and a half. These are the hands that killed Nicole. <laughs> Fucking the hands that killed Nicole just made me blow my load. Getting juice It was by the when juice. he was nibbling me in the ear. If the gloves don't fit, you must have quit. Yeah. <laughs> Your mom just laid out on the phone. Ten hut. <laughs> you, you, you've been to the dorm. You ever been in the, one of the? No, man. Room? No. Never, never, right, never. <laughs> what about you, Patrick? <laughs> oh, I, I, I go there for the weed. Really. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I Nobody wants to fuck when you're high. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, I don't want to bang. I just want to feel super intellectual. Who wants to see the end? Frank <laughs> and laugh our guts out. Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah. Guys, put that pussy out of your mouth. Madame Tussauds is open. <laughs> I went there and I went to let fucking the doctor, he cuts open all the bodies and all that shit. What the fuck? What district is that? No, your man and the, the people leave their bodies till this guy's like a fucking German or something, and he opens all the bodies and puts them in all different fucking forms and all. Never been to that? I have never that's even heard awesome. of this. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah. That's, that's the world we live in, by the way. Yeah. In the old times, we go, well, believe it or not, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> now it's like, no, I need you to know <laughs> yeah, yeah. that I'm not a liar. <laughs> Yeah, and I could have just seen this on Google too. <laughs> yeah. I also love that your only qualification for this, this man doing it was that he was German. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Ah, oh, what the fuck is that? We're There's gonna put whole... that up on the screen later yeah. for everybody. <laughs> yeah. see. Tweet in your but own it's, body he, pictures. He has like a museum. It's like a German. He's a famous fucking doctor, and yeah. he opens up all the bodies and puts them, and then you go around and watch it and see it all. This is all real oh, people yeah. that leave their bodies for this. Yeah, that's cool. That's what I went to in Amsterdam. Did you smoke a big gagger and go to that I didn't one. even. I didn't even. Imagine if you there. did all three. I smoked I, a big gagger, went to the dead person museum and <laughs> fucked I'll this. tell you what. I <laughs> Chuffed on a big gagger. I, yeah. I went. <laughs> it was our 10-year wedding anniversary, and I got a gig in, in, in fucking Amsterdam, and I didn't have the balls to say to her, I have a gig. <laughs> So I was like, it's the fucking wedding anniversary. It's the 10th one, so we have to do... And I was like, we're going to Amsterdam. She was like, we don't smoke weed and we don't deal with hookers. Fuck so I we're going people. to Amsterdam. And I was like, just 
But we do like cute. watching dead bodies. Yeah. <laughs> but because I was trying to hide that I had a gig because I knew I was in trouble, right? I booked into the lounge in the airport, right? And I thought, you get a breakfast, you get all that. Somebody told me you get a breakfast, you get all that. I didn't know it was continental breakfast. I fucking was expecting eggs and bacon and all. There was fucking none of that. So I went in, it was croissants and fucking raisin buns and all. I don't like that. So I was like, I need to get my money's worth. This was like 30 pounds each. So there was a bunch of bananas and I lifted them and put them into the bag. And when we got the fucking Amsterdam, my battery died on the phone and I didn't know the hotel we were staying in. And she was like, do you not know what fucking hotel we're walking up and down the red light this week? And I was like, it's fucking around here somewhere. And she's like, you must have. And he'd be, oh, I printed shit out. It's in my bag. So I put my bag down, opened it, and pulled out the bunch of bananas. And the big black guy came out of this building. He's like, oh, my God, where have you been all my life? <laughs> and I went, what the fuck are you talking about? And then I went, oh, fuck the bananas. So, oh, fuck, he's going to. And I mean, listen, it was, and he said, no, no, come in, come in. And I was going, no, 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 we're not staying here. And she was going, look. And I was going, and I looked. It was a place where you went with bananas and they stick them in you and you stick them in other people. It's like a banana show. Yeah, actual, yeah, 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 yeah. It's an actual thing. Like, like this is a fucking real thing. So like they you stick it in a dude, you pull it out and eat it, you know. Yeah. Or they stick it in your dude and pull it out and eat it, right? You yeah. pay for this. Imagine if Amsterdam were also in the neighborhood of fucking Canada, America. There's the fighters, and then you walk by the Amsterdam house. <laughs> and it's always like disco ball music. <laughs> Somebody so, screaming in the ecstasy. <laughs> no, did you go in? No, no your mom was trying to pull it, and then I was like, "Fucking!" And then I realized what it was, and then Andrew was like, "Is this what you brought me over here for our tenth anniversary to go in and stick bananas in people?" And I was like, "No, I'm not." And then she thought it was weird, and then I give your mom the bananas, and we fucked off. <laughs> but we we're having steak dinner at night, and I kept looking at the clock, and she was like, "What's wrong?" And I was like, "Oh, I have to be somewhere." And she was like, "Well," and I was like, "We're doing a gig over there," and she was fucking went nuts, you know, because I didn't tell her we were going to do a gig. But uh, th we went to Amsterdam. We didn't do any drugs. It was weird. How we long went. you been with her? Well, ten years. <laughs> no, no, Jesus, that was, that was, that was a stupid <laughs> question. <laughs> We're, we're, uh, we were on our 10 year anniversary then. <laughs> well, how long is that? We're married 15 now. It'll be 16 this year. Yeah. And then we've been together from 1998, so it's, it's a long, Fuck, is that long, long time. Patty. Almost as long as I've been alive, you've been together. Yeah. yeah. Hey, what year were you born? 96, end of 96. Jesus Christ. 10 years, me. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I got 96. married in '95, so I'm with you. I'm yeah. on your I'm on your wavelength, yeah, yeah. man. Tom's 10 years you... older than me. So yes. Yeah. yeah, you brought me to this Amsterdam to fucking with bananas. Yeah, you want to do a people. gig? Yeah. I go, that's right, baby. <laughs> Welcome to the world. for me, you wouldn't even be in Amsterdam. <laughs> <laughs> I always love that if it weren't for me statements. I pulled a few of those in my time. <laughs> Never me, good. You always me. want that to come back. <laughs> oh, no, no, it's gone. <laughs> yeah, if it weren't for me. If it weren't for me, you wouldn't be in this shitty place. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. Those are the funniest when your ego just sort of bursts out and goes, oh. <laughs> yeah, it's like when you're trying to fuck the wife and she's like, oh, I'm on the period. And you go, your mouth's not. Yeah. <laughs> I love saying that. And everyone's like, you're disgusting. Like, yeah. but I'm not wrong. And then, <laughs> Best is when you fuck her and then put it in her mouth. Right. <laughs> I just, just want to add a little spice to that blowjob there. <laughs> Want you to taste your unborn child. <laughs> How can I go there all the time? Here, it doesn't know, even affect know, me. Know what that's like? It doesn't even affect me. <laughs> you know what that's like? that. It's weird, right? <laughs> like my wife thinks I'm fucking a lunatic. <laughs> but it's good for comedy. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> it's like dipping chicken in the egg oh, and yeah. then put bed crumbs on it and it's like, that's kill you. Dip you in your babies <laughs> and then fry you. <laughs> That's what you do. We're sick yeah, bastards. Yeah, but no point are you fucking the chicken before that. Well, no. how do you think it died? <laughs> how do you think it died? <laughs> what came first, the chicken or the chicken fucker? Yeah. Well, I believe. That's not as bad as fucking, like, essentially using the fucking period blood as bread sauce. <laughs> 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 See, women don't have any of that equivalent for us. Yeah. No. Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah. there's no time that a man's ever went, oh, I'm sorry, 
I'm thinking about the Vietnam War right now <laughs> and all my <laughs> friends that died in front of my face when I accidentally exploded the grenade too close. <laughs> you know, like we don't have that equivalent, yeah. you know? Yeah. Except, you know, the, they always go for little dick. Yeah. That, that hurts our feelings. <laughs> little dick. That is the only yeah. insult that fucking yeah. gets me. Monthly. Yeah. They can call you, you're an ugly fucker, you're fat, yeah. and I don't care. Little dick. I'm like, fuck, you told me it little wasn't. Dick. Huh? So that, was big. <laughs> that gets me every time. Yeah. yeah. Do you, you ever get... If it was big, you'd be in porn. <laughs> it's tiny, and you've got a job. So you're yeah. here with me. Yeah. <laughs> it's small, but it's a wicked wee bastard. <laughs> <laughs> It's well, I can't always... do it with my cock, I can do it with my fist. <laughs> <laughs> <That's>, yeah. <laughs> that's, is it uh, too small, is it? Is it? <laughs> Open up. <laughs> just working that clit like a speed bag. Just... <laughs> can't do it, man. <laughs> can't do it. I've got this bunch of bananas, by the way. Yeah. Oh, banana would Those work. Those bananas are going off. Banana the would fucking... totally work. In fact, that would sound like fun. <laughs> I'd be like, uh, let's do the fruit salad thing tonight. <laughs> I can do that. You and it sounds off. romantic instead of being punched in the cunt. <laughs> you know, I never read the never punched me in the cunt romance novel. But I have pretty sure there's like I shoved a couple strawberries up there and things got a little heated. <laughs> yeah, because it's way more fun shoving shit up there than just yanking something off. <laughs> like putting things in holes. We've all loved it. You put them in the back bum, you can get the you chocolate can do it all. strawberries. Uh, <laughs> it's all up your back bum. <laughs> the, back bum the, old the old fucking bum. side door. <laughs> You're the VIP, fucking... buddy. Head to the side door. And the fucking banana doesn't give a shit if it's her time of the month. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, man. It's the love that you say a back bum. Yeah. The banana hold its nose. That's a Catholic <laughs> thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> We do it in the back, Bob. Oh, whatever. Get do the you, beads. Do you guys do the smoke. Who does the smoke? Um, um, oh, they yeah. smoke up. They smoke up the dead bodies. Oh, is that? <laughs> no, the oh, the dead. What are you in a Conan movie? What? Here, Tom. Are you? Are you? Were you Catholic? I was nothing, man. My <laughs> mom was though. My mom, but they were my grand. My mom's <laughs> from fucking. Punching a chick to my mother. <laughs> <laughs> my, that reminds Some me of my mother her anyway. and her back bum. <laughs> she was, yeah, they were like horrible 50s uh, religious Catholic right, people. Okay. They were French, so they're Catholic, right? Yes. French are a lot yes, of Catholic. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. So they were there, and then my mom was like, the, the church ain't getting anywhere near fucking Tom. Yeah. Yeah, and they ain't getting was near gone, yeah. my brother, so she was like, that no. One time the church asked my brother, because he was a fast sprinter in his day, mm -hmm. to run for him, and my mom, like, fucking chased that cunt <laughs> off the thing. He's like, what are you doing watching my kid run at school, priest? Your <laughs> <laughs> mom, mom should have said, Rick. He's a good runner, right? Yeah. If you can catch him, you can fuck him. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> See the priest putting on Nick or Max? I bet he <laughs> fucking catch this, him. This is way more challenging than an altar, boy. <laughs> Those things are easy to catch. <laughs> you just corner them in the basement and scar them for life. And we use France talking, no? Huh? We use France talking, Canadians, no? What do you mean? We just talk the French language, like we used. Oh, some of us do, man. Yeah. yeah, if you live over in the fucking Quebec and all that, they're real big on that they're, shit. They're proper parmel yeah. fucker and French talk. Oh people, man, like, they want to. They're like Scotland. They yeah. they talk about leaving, but when it actually comes down to it, they're like, man, nah, that's a bad idea. <laughs> <laughs> Canada's <laughs> pretty. Yeah, Canada's <laughs> pretty good. No, never, yeah. never been to Canada. It was a lot of people go. not liking it, right? I, now, that. I, lo I did two gigs on it. I, I was mad to be in Toronto. This month. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Doing a show? Yeah. What happened? The bar wanted more money. Uh, so the fucking people that was running the gig were like, we can't have the gig because I was fucking going for like 1,500 quid. It wasn't even a lot of money. No, yeah. that's nothing. The bar wanted half the ticket money. So the fucking GAA club were like, oh, well, we can't pay yet. Nah, fair enough. 
fucking GTA Canadian Club. fucking greedy little fucking <laughs> monster pigs. No, uh, maple syrup. Were you fucks? Yeah, fuck. Were you moose fuckers? Seal yeah, moose. killers. Were you playing a I'm a proud Club? British yeah. citizen now, <laughs> and I renounce my country. <laughs> I feel like I'm on a hostage video there. <laughs> Apologies right now for yeah. Celine Dion, you yeah. Fucking, I hated her from the beginning. <laughs> I was there at the time of the Trump rallies that were doing that. Yeah. In fucking Canada, when when they just stormed the Capitol and shit. Oh, yeah. There was like a subsection of like Make America Great again. Right. In, in Canada? Can- in Toronto. Who the fuck cares in Canada? That's a good fucking question. I didn't yeah, know either. Yeah. I said that to my Uber driver. He was like, yeah, they fucking love Trump over here. I don't I don't fucking know why. Is that the way the, the Uber driver's talking? That's how he spoke. Yeah, he spoke like this. <laughs> well, not, he, how's it going, he was Canadian, eh? yeah. <laughs> how's it going, eh? Trump's really good, eh? Yeah. Fuck, <laughs> then. We got to get ourselves some Trump, eh? <laughs> you ain't my Fuck, buddy, and, guy. Listen, we're going to go fishing, and then we're going to go vote in America. Yeah. <laughs> we're legally vote. That's what I loved over there. So fucking nice. Everybody is super fucking polite. Like I do that. Even story. the rapist. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry about that, eh? <laughs> Sorry about that, eh? But nice tight ass. All yeah, right, yeah. you take care. Go to. <laughs> you keep that banana now. <laughs> <laughs> you, you eat that. That's your vitamins. But I, I tell this story on stage. But like, cause I like when I come out and I, I do jokes about my disability. I go to the someone in the crowd. I'll pick them out and go. Oh, guess my disability. Because people get fucking weird about that. It's very enjoyable. Did it in Canada, and a guy just went, Oh, God, I, uh, I'd have to say it, you're just too goddamn handsome. I did the same thing in Belfast. The guy went, Down syndrome. Like, <laughs> Down syndrome. <laughs> wow. Right to the fucking downies. <laughs> I would be, you're lying. His head ain't big enough. <laughs> Like, like that's that's hilarious. That's hilarious that someone would say that to you. People stop me in the street here because they know from this podcast, right? Yeah, we fucking cripple, aren't you? I'm like William, but nice to meet you, mate. Yeah, yeah, no, the dude. William, that's my name. (laughs) I'm I'm still down. That's where we should be. I make fun of it all because I'm a professional comedian, but don't try this at home, kids. You'll probably get beaten up and yeah. fucking cyberbullied. Don't come up to me in the middle of a bar and call me that no. cripple. <laughs> it's not fun. No, but, but if you're on stage okay. doing yeah. your shit, oh, yeah, it's fine. everybody's paid and they know what they're going into. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like yeah. I, I could I could never grasp that as an yeah. as an audience member. Like you're going in. Of course we're gonna make you're going to make fun of everything you can't make fun of. Because if you could make fun of it, if it's easy to make fun of, you'd be making fun of it at the bar, which you yeah. do. Yeah. But this is like this cool, like comedy's like humor jazz. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah, that's yeah, no, really yeah. what it is. And that's why when I hear them, you doing, like, of course you're going to go up there and talk about... Yeah. Uh, cripple and what use all the Voldemort yeah. words. All the words and, I can't. Yeah. Shouldn't. Yeah. So that's where, and that's the place for it. So I never yeah. got uh, understood people that came to comedy clubs thinking offended. that wasn't going to happen. Yeah. Yeah. And I get mad at comedians that do like easy humor in those comedy clubs. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. That's a place that you, because every. To push the limit. It's meant to be pushing the limit. It's meant to be fucking. Take them to that stage, you know what I mean? Yeah, on a, on a really weird note, but it, the people don't realize every situation has all the, all the elements, right? It's got a fucking sad side, it's got an angry side, uh, you know, whatever it's got, a fucking tragedy side, but everything has a funny side yeah. too, no matter how dark it is. Yeah. Trust me, if you are, I will guarantee, if you're... Let's say I was being raped in a basement for 13 years, okay? And I really mean this. Um, trust me, there would be a time that I would start laughing. <laughs> there would be a moment where I would totally see the, the hopelessness and I would just fucking break down because it's your last thing. It's the last yeah. thing yeah, yeah, to yeah. do. And, and And that's why people that go through whatever cerebral palsy is, <laughs> yeah. when they first get it, they're probably real angry, right? Why me? All that shit, right? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you get to the, oh, poor me or whatever and fucking... But I guarantee eventually 
you get to this is just fucking funny (laughs) on a cosmic tragic level and if you don't get there, yeah. ugh, you, who wants to hang out with that guy? The DUP. Yeah, yeah the DUP. <laughs> oh, great. Here they come. What else can I make fun of today? <laughs> the DUP. What are they, what are they the deputy? The, the, what are they? Yeah, they're deputy first most Democratic, yeah. Democratic Unionist yeah, Party. Oh, yeah. the, they don't like gays. They don't they, like drugs. They don't like they don't sex like outside themselves. of marriage. Despite the fact they all do all of those things, but yeah. say not. They the, don't like drinking. Um, they Dancing. don't like bars being open on Sundays no. or past twelve. Yeah, very. We have. Who a, wants to live with those people? That like, I mean, if that sounds well, more like a farmers, cult. we we don't want to live that with those people. Like we're being made too. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, it, yeah. They're the it, fucking. Mil- that's why this country's weirdly still religious in law. Yeah, even though nobody yeah, is. No. I'm just that's picturing what, being at a dinner table at a DUP Christmas function. <laughs> just, Lovely coffee, Ed. <laughs> we should pick you to do yeah. the Christmas party. <laughs> Lovely. Do you read your wife's pussy? No. <laughs> Oddly enough, the DEP Christmas yeah. party is probably the maddest fucking Christmas party you'll ever fucking go to. Yeah, probably. All I don't know. And, like, mad fucking pieces of They've shit. They've imported the finest from the Blue Light District. That's yeah. what they yeah. were fucking doing. Yeah. Would they, though? I don't know yeah. enough yeah. about it, man. Well, there was I talk of, in ignorance. There, yeah, was yeah, one, yeah. there was one of their counselors was caught in a was caught in a hotel with a guy, and he was like, I thought it was just a massage I was going to get. How did my willy end up in your bum? I don't know how that happened. All of a sudden, the linebacker comes out. (laughs) I jerked that guy off. Ten hut. Ten hut. Oh, my God. I'm so (laughs) D-U-P. But they don't don't think that they're going to have, like, world problems even in their community then. So I don't know enough about they're, it. I they're really don't. I know you guys are, They're stopping the government I know that part. for here, right? I just don't know what they're about. Because they're like, yeah, but we don't want them to have an act for their language. <laughs> what? And they're like, people's dying in the corridors of hospitals, and they're like, don't care. We don't want to know. We yeah, don't want. Th- this we, kid's really sick. Can you change the laws? Yeah, you know who get along great with no. them? The Taliban. <laughs> I think they have all the same qualities as the Taliban. I bet you the Taliban would come over to the UP and go, I like this party. (laughs) Do you beat your women? Because if you do, I'm in. One of them did. Did they? Peter Robinson, yeah. Can you actually say that before we get fucking Don't get put in another headlock, (laughs) Patty. (laughs) Peter Robinson. Peter Ramsey. <laughs> Do you what know you what? Said. That's less believable than fucking Roy King. Isn't it? <laughs> yes! <laughs> Peter Ramsey lives a street down from me. He lives a street down from me, gentlemen. What did you say well, about me and Irish, you cunt? <laughs> <laughs> Who's Jimmy Robertson? Bill, Peter, Bill, Robinson. Peter Robinson. <laughs> Peter Robinson. Okay. He was the old first minister. He was the old head of the DUP. Yeah. Oh, okay. okay. His, his, was like, his wife was, fucked his wife was fucking a, a wee guy that owned a coffee shop. <laughs> yeah. Not so powerful but now, are you? Not, yeah. <laughs> not only that, like, I think she, like, because she was like fucking this like kid, uh, she gave him like... All this, like hundreds you know, of thousands, hundreds of thousands of pounds, to like start up like all these businesses and shit, and so, like and government contracts and all. Of <laughs> course, all of his all his mates were like, "Why are you fucking her?" And he's like, "Come on, I'm driving a fucking Ferrari. What do you think? Yeah. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> pass all the laws you want, Peter. Nothing stopping this kid from fucking your wife. There's no law you can pass. You uh, block that. You can't. Uh, <laughs> that's the but, best part about the internet, man. All these old guys are coming in. You, you know, before the internet, they could all like you know, CD is fucked, CD yeah, 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 and yeah. all that. But now the internet's here. It's like yeah. every they must know everything that like I, I always say, you're guilty of everything you've ever done, right? right. So get ready, man, because whoever they are, because yeah. they tried to be too. Is it pious? The word is that the word too pious? Religious, yeah, 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 yeah. So they're trying to be perfect and fucking, you know, that just ain't happening. Yeah, <laughs> you're you're gone, man. Yeah, yeah. huh? Your fucking homosexual son, your white beaten first minister, <laughs> your fucking hero, and that's just 
that's just a little crack that's slipping. <laughs> yeah. Wait till it gets bigger and you're like, there was a pedophile ring going on in there. Jeez. Oh, we uh, talk about that a lot. Dude, <laughs> we, fuck, that's of course. all we talk about. I don't know for sure, by the way. No, there's one. There's oh, one. there is one. Okay, yeah. cool, man. I don't know. Yeah, sure, cool. the, the... Did I just say cool? <laughs> oh, cool. Oh, God, man. Man. That's awesome. It's nice to know that's yeah. there. I thought they were behind the times with not having a pedophile ring. Because, <laughs> like, every great organization has a pedophile ring. Everybody yeah. does. Everybody knows that. Yeah. You have a staff room with no pedos? Then yeah. what is this one? That's why is? we're out there, the pedo hunters. <laughs> if you didn't come to the house in Florida without a pedo on them. But it's even now with the internet, the amount of things you see, like, for you it was the 80s growing up and everyone was a pedophile. It was on TV. Yeah. And yeah. now I find out all the, like, Disney Channel and Nickelodeon guys full of pedophiles. Yeah. Great place to pick up kids. Uh, absolutely. It's one of those you I- almost... Hiding in plain sight, you're like, he can't be a pedo, he's working with too many kids. <laughs> and even saying that now, I'm like, fucking what am I saying? Yeah, but man. that's your thought, it's like, he can't be a pedo. Yeah, you used to Look watch him programs children. and go, why has he got such a big smell in his face? Yeah. Fucking that job looks shit. Yeah, yeah. man. There's one it's of them. creepy as fuck. Uh, the old head in Nickelodeon yeah. used to have a food fetish. So there's low, there's like a compilation of just random scenes yeah. where these like 14 year old actresses are just putting their foot to the camera. And you're at the time the you're like, oh, logo of Nickelodeon. It was a, a fruit. fucking fruit. The logo of the show was of like the whole channel was a fruit. That's fucking mental. Oh man, man it's in South San John the some of the shit. It's mad. No, don't, please. <laughs> don't do that. I don't want to be Peter Townsend. <laughs> Is, it, is that his name? Like yeah, the guy from, from the hood. Yeah, didn't he get caught? He was caught downloading images of children, and then when they found him, he was like, oh, it's for a book I'm writing? I bet it is. <laughs> <laughs> it's called How to like, Fuck Kids. <laughs> like Tom Benz? Yeah, Tom, Tom Benz. Benz. So he did his... That fucking throw me for a loop. <laughs> what? The, the fucking radio DJ <laughs> hospital guy? Yeah. You see, so even comedians, we have yeah, well, some. We have a ring. We have a ring, but we caught it in time. <laughs> We're weeding it out right now. We're weeding it out. Don't worry, everybody. We... It's because for every other industry, it's like, oh, shit. If, like, this gets out, I'm losing my job. Or it's like, with comedians, it's like, fucking right. Was Tom a pedo? I can make I'm like, a whole Tom Bins. Tom, Tom Bins. <laughs> Tom Benz. I saw that. I was like, fucking yes, there's a spot on eight out of ten cats. Let's go. Dealey's Dealey, have him in the Hall of Fame. Oh, there's a spot. Right? <laughs> That's right. He was on eight out It's down. opened up now. Dealey's has a Hall of Fame, right? Where you played last night. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not on it yet. But, but when Tom got caught, I sent Connor a message. I was like, you can use the frame with Tom Benz is in. Yeah. <laughs> Just stick a new photo of me in. And the spot in the ball, the screws in. You know what <laughs> Man. <laughs> Fucking, that's just that was that was my because that that shakes my community. You know what I mean? Yeah. So when I heard that, I was like, "Fucking!" And you know, here's here's what the great thing about the comedy community: we're gonna have so much fun <laughs> with that. <laughs> I was in. The oh Liverpool. my god! It seemed not broke. I was in the hot water green room, and everyone was just slobbering like fuck about it. Oh, they would. I've we're killing them out there. <laughs> Every green room. Hey, did you hear about Tom Binge? No, I don't have children. <laughs> <laughs> what happened? <laughs> he, he he will get a gig again. I you've said this. No That's way. the one I don't believe. He will get a gig. There's again. difference between Someone like sexual misconduct and in prison or something. The fucking they'll give him like, saying stuff and doing stuff are two different, different things. things. Yeah. You yeah. know what I mean? Like fucking him him doing that. And that's just. Too far? It's too far. Yeah, of course. Because, like, like fucking, how, like, I don't even know how you got there, Tom. Yeah. But the fact you, that you're Went, bad, uh, yeah. you're like, is you're, you're Bill Cosby fucking drugging chicks. You're, you're in that bracket, yeah, bracket now. Yeah. You know what I mean? So it's all, it's over, man. Yeah. Like, it, it is. It, you're going to be... I don't know what the fuck you're going to do. Yeah. Every every job interview, you're going to go, can we not put that through the computer? 
I just want to sell cigarettes at Tesco's. A balloon modeler in a children's ward? Uh, yeah. I, I, I love how he was like, you'll never work again. You were like, yeah, you will. You'll like, get prison gigs and stuff. Oh, yeah. Like, yeah. yeah, but that's not, he's not so actually on the circuit. <laughs> well, there's enough Imagine the green room that you were in when he walked in, eh? <laughs> After doing his time. You're just backstage at the car. Hey, Tom! Yeah. Have you got a new five for us then? <laughs> the creature wow. in, in a fucking prison gig? Is he fucking unreal? Uh, I think as comedians we'd watch his show and be like, I was hack as fuck anyway. Yeah. Then, like we wouldn't give a fuck. Yeah, but now we got something juicy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You done fucked up, Tom. The best you guys know about it was because he downloaded all the porn after he was on ADHD medication and someone went, that just makes it sound like he always wanted to do it but couldn't stay yes. focused. Yeah, couldn't. <laughs> <laughs> it was Vittor- Vittorio said that and I was like, that's fucking amazing. <laughs> Like he's going on looking at child porn, and he's just, oh, fuck, why am I looking at sun loungers again? For fuck's sake. <laughs> oh, what was I doing? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's the funniest one. That's the funniest one. That's the best one. I think I was with yeah, the was he just, like, Now that he got the drug, because he tried to blame it on his ADHD. Yeah. <laughs> A lot of people have it. They don't fuck kids, Tom. You ever I would have picked him if I was gonna lie about having something. That would have been the one. I would have went way deep. Oh, sorry, I fucked your kid. I'm dyslexic. Sorry. <laughs> sorry. Sorry, I was looking at them pictures of gut gut. <laughs> Ironically, made my inflammation worse. Than yeah, that. yeah. Memory swells. My toe, but my cat was swelling in the states. I don't know why. Holy fuck. <laughs> gut <in> the cat. <laughs> Hi, is your gout you still manage? It's, it's in my elbow at the minute, yeah. yeah. There's gout just all around your body here. Yeah, yeah. My grits are in the body. It's in my tear. elbow. It's all fucking cushiony and warm and fucking red and shit. It sounds hot. Inbreeding Tom. That's what are, what are we talking? I missed out on that last one. Gout. I heard gout. there's a rash. Should I be moving this way? You got the new variant of COVID? I've got the new variant. Oh, Did right. you get COVID? Yeah, man. Yeah, it was easy. You liked it? Yeah, it was okay, man. Yeah, it, it wasn't as bad as everybody was making it out. No. I stopped being I'm afraid. on the side of... we. I, I've always been on the side... Okay, what is a pandemic? How yeah. many people have to die? And and we didn't even get to 1%. Yeah. <laughs> like, we didn't even get to 1%. And they made everybody sit went, in the house, and you're like, what the fuck? It's like, shut up. There's more people damn planes and stuff. Do you know yeah, what I mean? They're yeah, yeah, going... man. It, and then you know, the, the, then I'm not a, I'm not on any side. Just yes. so you know, no, I you're not auntie. You're not. I don't pro care if that. you're pro or whatever. Yeah. My my whole deal with that was like fucking. How do you even know a vaccine works with polio? You kind of know. Yeah, because the legs stop. Fucking. Yeah, the legs stop going. But with with this thing, you would have to die of COVID, mm-hmm. then come back, get the vaccine. <laughs> Get it again and not die. <laughs> <laughs> so, so this is like to me, it might work. I don't know. It might. I'm, yeah. I'm not a scientist, but if I was a snake oil salesman, <laughs> Jesus, rolling into town, <laughs> you got COVID. We got your flu. <laughs> there you go. You're gonna be safe now. <laughs> Run along. <laughs> but my all my brothers got it, and they lived. Yeah, they were lucky. <laughs> I know, my, so like, I was like, fuck it. I once my really 84 care. year old granddad with Alzheimer's survived it, I was like, we're fine. Yeah. I mean, a cold was and bread his shoes and he survived COVID. Yeah. We're all right. It wasn't killing everybody. So the huge, like, I'm willing to fucking die. I'm not scared of that shit. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. But it wasn't killing everybody, no. it was barely killing anyone. And I was just going, this is fucking stupid. And now they're just draining all my money. Yeah. These fucking cunts. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like was that, that was the one I hated the most. If you would have let me work and then like whatever done that, but everybody saves for a rainy day. Nobody yeah. saves for a two year yeah. monsoon yeah. where I had to sell my house. Yeah. But fuck, did we party? Yeah. Oh my god, That's that me. was it's the like best stay home vacation yeah. I've had in years, man. And the weather was really good the whole day, and you're I- like, fucking hard luckily was that. Shit. I smoked yeah. myself schizophrenic in those first three months. It was class. Yeah. All, all, like everyone was panicking about all I was doing was sitting smoking weed sitting in the sun and playing Playstation yeah best three months of my fucking life 
bring it back every year. It was fucking. Oh, close. I think yeah. we should have a three month yeah. holiday every year. every year. Yeah. 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 There was a we we had we had I had two great neighbors, man. I had Druggy Dougie over, on uh, yeah over on is this my right? Yeah, that's my right. <laughs> Uh, fucking druggy Dougie lived over on my right, and he was like really into David Icke and all that yeah. shit. Like he was like right into it, and he was like fuck this shit, fuck that. And I was like yeah, Dougie, fuck that shit. <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't care. Like, I like it. And then we had old drunk, cool drunk Ray, who was just a painter on the other side, and none of us. You couldn't find three people that couldn't have given more of a shit <laughs> yeah. about, about this pandemic, <laughs> right? And, we, and and then just people came over, and we all just ended up hanging out in the backyard and drinking and laughing our guts out, man, and waiting for the cops to show up. Ah, oh, there's more than eight people here. There's nine now. <laughs> 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 Give us the fine. <laughs> We can pay it, but got a grant from yeah. the government. Yeah. yeah, we all decided it would just be a cover charge. charge yeah. We'll split a theme. Okay, you guys much. break up. Okay, come back in about an hour. <laughs> <laughs> like, I haven't listened to the thing the government said since 1984. <laughs> I'm not listening to anything they say in something as important as a barrel, barely fucking whatever this pandemic was. Pandemic. <laughs> that was Fuck ridiculous. Yeah. Where did it come from? Wuhan. <laughs> okay. The Wuhan Club. Yeah, the Wuhan. <laughs> like, what a name for a place for it to come from. <laughs> I wish it would have came from New Orleans. <laughs> That's a disease you'd want. The New Orleans flu. <laughs> this smells like voodoo. <laughs> it just makes you wear loads of beads. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Smoke. Just the Catholics would have been loving it. <laughs> Smoking. Oh. The Mardi Gras flu. Uh, the Mardi Gras flu. Oh, fuck. Cool, man. Uh, yeah. Are we running out of time, though? We are. Yeah. Okay. okay. Oh. Anything to plug? Uh, just uh, fucking, yeah, actually. I used to not plug shit. I used to think, uh, but there, yeah, TomStayed.com. Uh, my new special for sh why wouldn't I right yeah fucking right. I, I, why wouldn't I I want to be cool about it but I also want people to watch it so go and download that uh, yeah and that's uh, that's about it 10 bucks by the way yeah 10 because uh, you used to sell DVDs that's the world yeah. I'm from so I used to sit with all my DVDs and watch all the cunts walk by me from the show going great show <laughs> 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 You want one of these, right? <laughs> so, but now it's even better because now I don't have to do that, and they can watch it whenever they get tired of all the Netflix fucks. Yeah. With all the, where's my I, Netflix yeah. special? Yeah. I've got something to lose, so I'm not the same comedian I once was. <laughs> like I knew you when you were really awesome. <laughs> Well, that is a lot of money. Yeah. <laughs> so, so maybe you should talk about your dog shitting in the park. At the arms Fascinating. Um, <laughs> Fascinating. Tom, thank you very much for coming on. Thank well, you, guys. Thank you, so, so you guys, thank you for having me, man. Yeah, you guys are awesome. Great. And we got a gig tonight. Yeah. We're going, we're going to, to rock shit out of Queens. Yeah, we're yeah. going to the Mandela. He didn't even come here, did he? Yeah, he did. <laughs> oh, is that why they named it after him? I don't know. Maybe they should have called it the Peter Mandelson Hall. <laughs> Fucking come on. Is it Peter Mandelson? Yeah. Yeah. Come on and have the shit slapped out of you. <laughs> hey, it would have been more appropriate. The Maggie Thatcher Hall. The Maggie Thatcher Hall. You'd have loved that. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, thank you so much, Tom. Yeah, Fucking yes. well, check out the legendary Tom Stay. Go follow him where you can. What an episode. Yeah. Yeah. Brilliant. Thank you. Yep. Yeah. See, See you next week. Cool. I feel electric when you go.